Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Chicago Conservative. If you are a new viewer, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And if you are a returning viewer, then thank you for coming back, guys. I really appreciate that a lot. Now, we're going to be talking about our favorite mayor, guys, Brandon Pinhead Johnson, man. This guy is just a, a freaking joke, okay? I don't know who put this guy in office, but this dude just needs to leave. Nobody wants you here, bro. The these Chicago mayors, man, we just got terrible luck with Chicago mayors. And then the people always want to ask, oh, why can't we get a good mayor? Why can't we get a mayor that cares about us? Why can't we get a mayor that keeps the crime off the streets and keep our kids safe? Um, because you keep voting Democrat, you genius. I mean, if you're going to keep doing the same thing over and over again, you might as well put yourself in one of them places, man. But that wasn't the case on March 20th because. Brandon Johnson, man, they tore him a new one, man. They, these people are not playing with Brandon Johnson anymore, guys. I'm telling you, the people are starting to wake up in Chicago, and I am loving it, guys. We are we really starting with the first step, guys, of turning Chicago red. These people know what's going on out here. We, we have to live out here in the real world. They don't. They're tired of illegals. They're tired of crime being rapid on the street. They're just tired of things not being done, guys. These people are fed up. We're fed up. And we're just going to watch Brandon Johnson actually just get cooked like for at least three minutes. I'm all for it. Hey, if you guys think Brandon Johnson is a good mayor, I have nothing against you. All I'm going to ask you is what have he actually done? He's getting rid of shot spotters. Did you know that? That's a $36 million investment. I don't think he's going to put that into any parks, any schools, any park districts i'm i'm not really sure what he's gonna do with that money guys and shot spotters can save lives uh like your kids your brother your sister your mom your dad but anyways these people ain't got time for this dude foolishness man so let's just take a look at brandon johnson getting cooked guys illegal immigrants something is wrong with black people you got all these black faces in high places and you get nothing. Who will let knock, knock, knock on my door? I don't know you. Well, where you come from? Who's your mama or your daddy? Are you a criminal? Are you a pedophile? You're not getting in. You're not, knock, knock, knock. Your ass not getting in. Excuse me. You know, I don't know nothing about you. The young lady say a background check. Who are these people? Where did these people come from? Why would you bring them here? And why would you push them uh, on the black community, the most poor of all? Riding their bicycles around the neighborhood and looking to break into our houses, garages, and cars. Smoking weed and drinking in the park in broad daylight. You guys threw us to the wolves, and now we have to deal with the trouble you brought to our neighborhood. Unlike the illegals, as a legal immigrant myself, I know what I had to do to enter your country. I was required to do a background check, vaccinations, pay an expensive fee, bring a work letter, letter from my previous job, shall all go on, but the others are here to cause trouble. For example, my neighbors had their car broken into, packages stolen from their front yards, and someone pee on my property. Yes. I'm requesting Alderman Vasquez, Mayor Johnson, and those who made this decision to walk our neighborhood and see what's happening there. It's not, it, it took my, my package from Amazon. Oh. They are break to cars. 6.53 a.m. I have videos to prove. Break into cars and we cannot do nothing about it. Cops come, they see, and they go away. Well, I know you people don't know what's going on to the extent with this migrant and this immigration stuff. Because if y'all so much saying that Texas doing this and Texas doing that, why everybody call this parked outside them shelters that's employees, they license place have Texas on there. You know, give me that job, man. I do security. Why are you giving this to somebody from Texas? You see, that's what's going on. Don't help me come out here. I told y'all, I, I, I had to let go last time because it's stuff involving my child. So me as a father, and I know that these places are against fathers. They're against husbands. I'm a married man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm standing up for men. I'm standing up for these homeless shelters that y'all got our people in that got mold, that got rats, that got roaches, big bugs, etc. And y'all putting them in nice hotels. 
these migrants here, these asylum seekers here, which ultimately are illegal here. And there's people here that have been going on the radar, they can't get a green card or work permit, and they've been here 20, 30 years. Seniors can't handle it on the street because they can't get nothing. I'm for the people. You're going to stick these people in our neighborhoods and that we have to just accept it. That's a absolutely not because we've talked about this since last year when most of you older people who did not stand up with us and reject the sanctuary city. Now I got a problem with that. And I spoke that on December 14th. So I think we need to cut down the staff of the older people here. How about that? But the rest of you, goodbye. Because that's how we're gonna see it when it's time to vote. That's where we going with that. So I think that the issue is, is that black people, don't, that we're going, to, we're going to keep coming here and complaining. Yes. We're going to, but now it's just about if you're going to listen. Are you really going to listen to us? When my family came here, my family benefited from the Reagan administration uh, from, uh, during that time frame. That type of immigrant, people came here to work, they came here to build, and they came here to respect. We, the people that are moving in here now are not respecting us. They're not respecting our neighborhood. They're littering everywhere. People don't feel safe. And I'm also very disappointed in Al Andre Vasquez and Carla Ramirez Rosa. A growing number of people in the Hispanic community that will not be voting the same way as they did before. If we do not, in August, thank you, in August, um, if we do not get issues resolved, people will not be voting how they used to before. And this- I hope you guys are really paying attention to this video. The guy said we're gonna be voting differently the next time around. Do you guys know what that means? Look, think about that. Look, I'm gonna really influence these people to really try Republican because at this point, over 60 years voting Democrat, and I'm talking, I'm talking for blacks, Hispanics, even people in poverty. Like if you guys care about the little man so much, why are the Democrats now uh, are the more richer, you know, class now? It isn't the Republicans anymore. The Democrats are now the ones that are richer. So, ta-da. Yeah, but come on, Brandon Johnson. You have to go, bro. More than 35,000 illegals that are in Chicago now as we speak. You are just terrible, bro. They're coming into our city with scabies and, and measles. Like, dude, you are letting these people infect us and our children. You're, you're letting them bring fentanyl. You're letting them do crime everywhere because you know the democrats love to defund the police so much yeah f the police f the police and then oh when someone gets hurt who's gonna help you you think it's gonna be um tyrone from the block no he ain't he just gonna pull his phone out and and try to go live and try to be viral i'm not sure man but these people are absolutely out of their minds bro these people, these immigrants are, are assaulting our kids, man. Brandon Johnson, what are you doing out there? You hear the people. You hear them. You just don't care. You, The guy even said you don't care. You, you just don't care, dude. And, and, and How long are these people going to let you? How long, are, honestly, at this point, how long are you guys going to let these people insult our intelligence like this? The The information is out there. You want to know what they thinking? Oh, black people don't read. They don't read things like this. And let's just be honest. I'm going to just be honest. African-Americans do need to get more into things like this. I'm not saying we can't read or we just not intelligent or anything like that. But we do need to get more into politics because if we don't soon, then we're never going to have anything, guys. We're letting these people make decisions for us. And then we're wondering why we don't have anything. We're dependent on the government. We are not supposed to be doing that, guys. Hey, if you guys want to debate me about it, let me know in the comments, man. But this is this is just a complete, just a disaster in Chicago, man. I don't know when Brandon Johnson is going to get I don't know when we're going to get it. I, I can't even keep saying Brandon, Brandon Johnson, guys. When are we going to get it? Why are we putting these people in office? We know they're trash. We're the ones that's doing it at this point. The Democrats want to see us dead, guys. Their agenda never changed. 
They're just they just added a black face. OK, they started with Barack Obama. OK, guys, Barack Obama. OK, he's black. OK, guys. But that's really it. Their agenda never changed, guys. I'm telling you, these people do not care about us. These Democrats are going to bro. There was little I can't even quote this woman's name right now, but she said we're going to have these N words voting Democrat for over 200 years, bro. What should that tell y'all? Come on, guys. This is absolutely ridiculous, bro. And Brandon Johnson, what about the people that are working? What about our families? What are American families, dude? You care more about illegals more than American families that have nothing. We don't have anything, dude. We're literally living from check to check because of the economy right now. You know this, right? Probably not, pinhead. But look, I will be I will. I'm really hoping and praying that the people wake up and see that these people are doo doo. They're not going to help us. These people, bro, these people are not going to help us, guys. I'm trying to just get that through your head. They're not going to help us. The Democrats want to defund the police. Don't you guys want to be safe? I'm just, hey, look, these are just questions that I just want to know, guys. If you guys don't want to be safe, I know you got bad police out there. But not all police are bad, bro. Like, the, some of these police officers want to do their job and go home to their kids, bro. These people got families too, bro. Everybody has some type of life outside of their job, guys. Don't take it personal, okay? Just comply. Don't be all aggressive, and then you'll be good, bro. Like, straight up. But, hey, if the guy said it in the video, man, so if you guys think, you know what I'm saying, I'm capping, just hear the guy in the video. If you guys, if we don't see a change, we're going to be voting different next time around. So we're going to keep that mindset, guys, and I'm going to help with that. So make sure you guys tune into the next video, and thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace.